Live from Las Vegas, Nevada, it's Keto Cooking. Welcome back. I'm Tom, the Keto Cook. Today, we're going to be making zucchini. I'm going to be doing it a couple different ways. Stick around, I'll show you exactly what I'm doing. Okay, the process is going to begin. I'm going to be taking the larger ones, and um, I'll separate them out. And they're, they're the ones that I'll uh, shred up, and I'll, I'll make for uh, the... Uh, zucchini fritters. The other two, the other smaller ones I'm going to cut up, I'm going to cut these up into rings and I'm going to show you how I'm going to do that and then the, the whole process here is going to be where I dry them. Uh, they, they do contain a lot of water. If you don't get most of the water out of them, okay, if you go to pan fry order, they get mushy on the inside. So what I want to do is I'm going to dry them real good, I'm going to shred them, squeeze them out in a towel and then I'm going to put them in a colander into the refrigerator, cover them, paper towels, and make my uh, and dry them that way. And there again, if I could talk, I'd be worth a ton of money. Now there are a couple different attachments that I have here for my food processor. I took the blades out. I'm just going to use the uh, shredder, the shredder tool here. Uh, one side you can just do the slicing on this one here, and on this side here is where you can shred it. You can shred cheese on here. This works very well for the zucchini. Okay, very simple process right here. I'm gonna be shredding zucchini. Now, like I said, I'm gonna be doing three of them to make up uh, for the fritters. I'm going to be putting them into a tea towel, into a colander, and I'm going to let them sit overnight. I'm going to try to get as much moisture out of them as possible. There, there again, when you try to use a, a wet ingredient into hot oil, uh, it, it steams it, doesn't give that nice little crunch. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, Maria will pack it up. Uh, I'll wring it out as much as I can, and we'll put it in the refrigerator until the next day. I'm going to take these last two. I'm going to try to make them into uh, rings. I was going to use the shot glass. No, I'm not drinking. Uh, but I was going to use it as a guide to make the rings. Uh, he used a much bigger uh, zucchini. These are smaller. So what I'll do is I'll cut these into barrels. And then I'll slice them. And then I'll core them. Or I'll core them first. I'm using a paring knife to, to core them with. You can use an apple core or whatever. I just like to get the seeds out. Now I have um, oyster enough. I tried a little bit of everything. This is an experiment for me. I've seen another uh, chef do this. Uh, I tell you what, they're pretty good. I'm going to slice them as thin as I can. Uh, half is going to go into a pan with some olive oil. And then I'll season them up. And then the rest will go into the oven with some Parmesan cheese and some other uh, spices. And we'll bake it that way. It's chips. Now, salt into the pan. I'm going to coat these with a little bit of salt and try to get as much water out of them as possible. There again, if you don't, they will steam and, and not get that, that crunchy flavor to them. Or a crunchy texture, I should say. Well, I'm having a hard time talking tonight. Okay, these also are going to go in the refrigerator overnight to dry. Yep, they're cut nice and thin. These should crisp up pretty nice. Twenty-four hours later, come out of the refrigerator. Uh, pretty dry. Not as dry as I'd like it, but I tell you what, it's workable. And we're going to put this together. 
Now, into a bowl I have two eggs. Uh, I have a half a cup of Parmesan cheese, quarter cup of pork rinds. I have garlic, onion, and parsley. A tablespoon of each mixed up. And we beat the hell, living hell out of it. Now, it's kind of thick, but I want that consistency because I want it to hold together. Now, we'll mix this all together. And this is getting ready to go into the pan. Now, in the pan, I have a combination of uh, olive oil and some avocado oil. That's just to keep take down the tone of the olive oil a little bit. And I'm going to be adding in my favorite Gator Shake, Uncle Steve's. Okay, this is good stuff. Uh, I didn't put it into the mixture, but I'm going to add it now to the uh, finished product and also to uh, the pan that's cooking that. Really good taste to it. Good, good, good stuff. Now, as a matter of fact, Uncle Steve had mentioned to me, if anybody from my channel mentions my name, Tom Barbie, the Keto Cook, he will uh, give us some kind of break on it. So uh, give it a shot. Give it a try. Good stuff. Now, I got my rings going in the pan. I also have some in the oven. Now, in this batch, I'm going to use Drunken Chef's Jalapeno Rub. That's salt, pepper, garlic, and jalapeno. Good stuff. Also, I got a little heat to it. Now, into the pan, I have a pork tenderloin. And it's a little semi-frozen still. Didn't thaw out in time. But that's okay. It's not a big deal. I just want to put a little bit of uh, brown coating on it. I add some uh, of my Tommy Spice to it. Now, this is an old Italian traditional hot peppers and pork chops. This is what I used to, used to get all the time. At a place called Graziano's in Brooktown. I mean, it was excellent. They put it on pork chops. But I said, you know what? If they can do it on pork chops, I can do it on pork tenderloin. Now, this is going to go into the oven at 350, and I'm going to add just a little bit of G. Hughes' original barbecue sauce. Just a little bit to help glaze up the vinegar and, and the hot pepper uh, sauce. Now, that's going to go in probably for about 45 minutes to an hour. Okay, through the magic of video, it's done. I'm going to slice her up nice and thin, and then I'm going to be making uh, gravy the rings that come out of the oven. They're nice and crispy. Yeah. There they are right there, the fritters. They all came together pretty good. Like I said, it comes out a little bit darker because of the cheese and the pork rinds. But I tell you what, the taste is phenomenal. Great blend I put it on this one. Now, that's the glaze, the pan, uh, pan gravy if you want. Uh, it's got a little kick to it. Now, I'm going to put the pork back into it mix it around a little bit and there it is the finished product right there I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit I'm gonna plate this bad boy up don't tell Marie that took a piece oh man that's delicious a little kick okay it's good well there it is uh, zucchini fritters and also pork tenderloin with hot cherry peppers a little bit of barbecue sauce for the glaze thickened it up I tell you what, this is delicious. Hey, listen, thanks for watching. Remember, hit that like and subscribe button. And check in next time. Tom Garber, the Keto Cook. By the way, the tenderloin was money. That's what my old friends say. <laughs>